Hi, Larry Barton, warden of Oxford County and the mayor of the township of Norwich. And I've been asked to say a few words about with regards to the uh, coronavirus and its effect. And it's uh, like a lot of things with the difficult times that we're going through at this point in time, that it also brings out the best of people as well as the uh, worst of people at the same time. But it's, we're doing everything we can. We're staying in contact with the uh, boards of health. The Southwestern Public Board of Health, who was in contact with the uh, Provincial Medical Officer of Health, Dr. David Williams, who has also been in contact, uh, stays in contact constantly with the uh, federal governments as well. So we have all four levels of government working to uh, try to uh, keep this pan uh, pandemic to a minimum, but it seems to be spreading. But uh, so far in Oxford County, we're very fortunate in that it, uh, we have no known cases diagnosed yet. We have some testing that has been done, but no definite diagnosis as far as uh, positive uh, responses so that is good but that doesn't mean that we're out of the uh, out of the woods yet as far as that goes we're doing everything that we can to uh, keep our re residents and our staff as well uh, safe and with your well-being in mind as well as trying to uh, carry on the uh, work and business of the uh, township and the counties as well we uh, are doing everything we can we uh, starting Monday, like this building here, the uh, county building will be shut down to any public as far as walking in. Uh, you will be allowed in through uh, appointment only, and you will be screened when you come in. And uh, at some point, at some time before you get all the way in, you will have your temperature taken. And if any of the uh, symptoms are present, you will ask to be go back home to return home and come back at a, a date when it's safe. So. And I know in the township of Norwich, we have canceled our public meeting Tuesday night, uh, this coming Tuesday night, as well as our doors are locked to the public as well. But we have made uh, provisions for uh, business as usual. The staff is there and uh, we're trying to do the best we can to keep the people as safe as we can and at the same time provide the services that they expect to uh, come out of the municipalities and uh, so they can carry on business. This, this is definitely gonna have a definite impact uh, financially and socially as well on, on the entire area. So we just uh, doing everything we can in order to keep everybody uh, well. And um, we <clears throat> we're trying to do the best and we're, we're in constant contact with the uh, boards of health. So any decisions that are made are after contact with the boards of health. And, we're, we're not going to stop it. We're just trying to slow it down to uh, necessarily not have the peaks and valleys, but just a kind of a low curve so that they can be uh, assessed and treated. As far as from the access, yes, it is limited access, but as far as the services and whatnot, it may take a little bit longer and the, the people may be a little bit more inconvenienced, but that's a lot better than the, uh, the option. But the county and township services are carrying on as usual. And we're, like I said, we're trying to provide as many services as we can. It's mostly the, the most essential services that we're trying to carry out at this point in time. I know a week ago that all the uh, non-essential meetings were canceled. So I mean, like if it wasn't an essential meeting, they were canceled. I think in two days I had four meetings canceled at the end of last week. So it's a day by day procedure right now. And uh, when you wake up in the morning, you don't know what's going to happen that day. So uh, things change from day to day as, as the uh, virus and Mo is monitored and, and as we carry on so it's uh, but it is we're trying to keep it at service or um, service levels as usual and business as usual but unfortunately they're going to be uh, interrupted and somewhat of an inconvenience for some but all in the best interest of the majority of the people of Oxford County.